course, the story, the story is always the same. You want to keep a good mix of some because, um, you know, we, 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 one thing is for sure, we're not going for the quantity in this. So we're not looking for the youngest um, uh, vines, you know, that produce the greatest yields. Um, but we're looking to be able to play as well. You know, yeah. like an artist, we, we want to not only have a yellow and a green, but we want to have different shades of yellow and green. Yes. And that you can only achieve by planting number one in different areas and number two by obviously having different uh, different ages as well. So I hope um, you're not being too shaken and sick. I'm absolutely fine. Uh, man. On the left here, mm -hmm. we have planted uh, Pinot Noir and Semillon at the top. Okay, yeah. That's very brave of you. Semillon is a very difficult variety to work with. It is a very well, difficult as, variety. Uh, not to mention Pinot Noir. To, to work with as well. And this is the plot that Snicker deemed to be ideally suited. So, granite. Yes. Got granite here as well. They're coming very nicely now. We had. Um, just before Christmas, we had a few, or even, yeah, yeah, sort of just before Christmas, we had, oh, when was this, in, in October mostly, we had problems with, um, we have two very common types of antelopes, it's the the diker and the graysbok, mm -hmm. and they, they love to nibble on these things, so when we planted them first, they'd, you know, if they nibble, if they, if they eat the buds off once or two or three times, by the fourth time, the plant will die, Sometimes earlier, sometimes. Yeah. But um, but we managed to to control that now, and so we have very healthy looking. Uh, uh, we're actually looking. Love to see it. Unfortunately, with all the the houses and industrial parts that are being built on the outskirts of Cape Town, on some days you will see the pollution more than on others. Um, yeah. But it looks like today is one of those unfortunate. Yeah, I can see it's sort of not a smog, but a uh, haze. As I had feared, um, obviously Table Mountain right there. Uh, yeah. The dam we looked at earlier. Cape Town at the back, and uh, and lovely to see the ocean. But I mean, unfortunately, you won't see them today. Yeah, it's covered. Right covered in that smog. Most unfortunate. Yeah, it's a bummer, isn't it? It is. No, we were talking about this yesterday, obviously, you know, you see it at night. Yeah. And, uh, it's a lovely sea of light. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. yeah. And, um, but now you can see, this is the, the sadder bit during the day. Uh, 20 years ago, you could, you could really sort of pick out the single houses scattered across the landscape and uh, today it's just like trying to pick up the landscape across the the houses at these vines here what we did here um is uh, uh, we planted a bit of malbec yeah um not with the intention of having again a monocephalic malbec in the private collection range but something to play with um yeah maybe on the guinea fowl range mm -hmm. um now you know we, we sort of in a fortunate position where we uh, you know in the entry level we can play with these sort of things as well yeah. and um, um, the Malbec just to this stage has not acquired the quality that Nico is expecting so you haven't really and they're not loved so the, um, they are the, the, the grape itself is, is loved we do we do love Malbec but what we've achieved here um, is not not uh, to this point up to you know sort of Saxonburg uh, standards. So. And that this is one of the hazards of farming, isn't it? It is, but I, I think yeah. if you don't experiment, if you don't try, it becomes very monotonous. <laughs>